how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing good. Um, I'm, I'm okay. I'm being better. Did I upload last week? I can't remember. I wasn't well. I was planning on getting a video out Monday and then I was going to upload on Friday and I, ju I just couldn't. I was dead in my bed. Um, but I'm feeling a lot, lot better now and I really need to burp. You may have noticed, again, things have changed behind me and I'm so happy with the way things are in my fish room now. Um, my bedroom is completely divided into two halves now, so I've got my bedroom on this side and my fish room and animals on that side and I love it, I think it looks so cool. I think this is how they're going to be. I may change some of the shelves around because it's kind of annoying me that there's a bigger gap here than there but then it evens up. I'll show you guys everything. By the way, if you are new here, hi. Nice to see you, meet you, not meeting you. Nice for you to see me, yeah. Um, I'm a better breeder. Do not be concerned by the jars behind me with fish in them. Um, I'm a better breeder and that is why they're in these jars. It's not a permanent thing. They're literally gonna be in these for maybe a month at the most now. For today's video, I was going to film like a really good um, informative video about water changes and how to cycle a tank and how often you need to do a water change per your tank and like how the and what ammonia and nitrites and nitrates are and all of that and how to test your water I was gonna do like a whole video on water basically but there's been a lot of builders here today and do you know what right now that I'm sitting here it sounds like they're finished I can't hear anything um, but when I was setting up all I could hear was just like banging and drilling and they were making a hell of a lot of noise and I was like I can't film a video where I need to concentrate a lot with all of that going on and instead I thought this week let's just have a chilled out video and I'm just going to show you guys some of the fish in my bedroom catch you guys up on some of the things that have been happening up here and is that my piglet? Piglet's eating. Let me show you Piglet because he's just come out to say hi. Hi, my Piglet. Hello, gorgeous boy. Oh, oh, look at that little bum. Look at it. And he's gone back to bed. Piglet, come and say hi. Piglet doesn't often come out in the daytime, so it's a lovely surprise when he does. Um, camera angles changed a lot because I decided to show you my Piglet in the middle of. Pig, piglet's a hedgehog, in case you couldn't tell. I just kept calling him my piglet. He's my hedgehog. <laughs> so yeah, for today's video, I kind of wanted to have a little bit more of a chilled out video um, than I, what I would have planned. And I kind of just want to show you my fish. Because that's my favourite video to film. I feel like it's a bit repetitive. I film these kind of videos quite a lot. But any time I upload any other video, all of my requests um, and all of the comments under those videos are more baby better updates, more baby better updates. So um, I figured I would just give you guys what you want and film another baby better update. It's not really a baby better update. It's just kind of an update on everything that's going on up here. There's going to be as little sit down talking as possible in this video. I just had like a couple things that I wanted to tell you guys and then I'm going to go and show you my fishes. Um, first thing is thank you so so much for everyone's kind kind wishes to my puppy. I always call her a puppy. She's not a puppy. She's a year old now but she's my little puppy. She'll always be my puppy. In my last video I said that she wasn't very well and she's doing so much better now. Like she is doing so so good. Um, we figured out that it was just anxiety that's all it was um, it kind of made me laugh the amount of people that suddenly turned into vets and were like this is what's wrong with her and I'm like yeah, but I, I don't think so I mean I feel like I know my animals quite well and like I know Elsa and I know all of her little quirks and all of her Elsa-iness and yeah anyway she's doing a lot lot better also my better fish Draco passed away um, yesterday as I'm filming this video um, yeah it was horrible um, he came down with dropsy towards the end of last week I think it was Thursday I put him in a jar with some methylene blue I also put some antifungal treatment in there some salt there was an Indian almond leaf there was a whole load of good stuff in there basically and I was trying to make him better but um, if you guys know anything about dropsy you'll know that the majority of the time it is incurable basically dropsy is a symptom of an internal organ failure most of the time it's kidneys and once they start pine coning which is when all of their scales kind of stick out and they kind of look like a pine cone um, it's kind of too late by then so yeah he was not 
in a very good state. And yesterday evening I was sitting in bed and I could hear like water splashing around and there's a lot of water in this room so I turned my lights on and was like having a look around to see who was splashing around and he was literally like spinning but like twirling basically like he was in the jar and he was up at the top turning over like his body was like spinning and he was going all the way down and all the way back up with his body like spinning it was just horrible, it was so so horrible and he was just in a really really bad state, he was getting really really stressed out, he was thrashing about and I was like no 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 I can't I can't I can't I, I don't want to watch this. So I decided to euthanise him um, then, so yeah that's what happened to Draco. Let me show you, I don't really know how to move past that, being like my fish died, let me show you more fish. Um, but my fish died, let me show you my other fish. So down here is my fish room, all finished, nearly finished. There's a few things that I want to change, obviously this big line of um, wires is still being sorted out. Don't judge my wire and cable management because it's it's kind of ridiculous at the moment. But look at my fish room, like look how pretty, I just love it so much, I just, I love it so much. Um, so. A notice board right here. A subscriber actually drew me this and I absolutely love it. I think it is so so cute. Little rainbow fish. I used to love that book when I was younger. I used to love it. So up here we have the two Dumbo males that I'm going to be keeping. Um, I've just decarded all of the fish so um, if they're flowering at each other it's because they're meant to be. I picked out this one which was number 21 and um, you can't really see because of the watermarks on the glass um, but he's like a really really cute pinkish white butterfly kind of colour and I just love him I think he's gorgeous there's my finger you're pretty and this one was a really really pretty like metallic um, greenish kind of colour I keep changing my mind about which female I want to keep but there's a few that I kind of have my eye on but I haven't like made anything official yet um, all of these ones are up for sale on my eBay um, I need to take some more pictures of them actually because literally as soon as I put them up within a day um, most of them are gone so these are the ones that I currently have left up on my eBay site the numbers that they are on here is the number that they are on my eBay account so if you see any here that you like the look of um, you can have a look at them on my eBay account. This was one that I was planning on keeping she's like a really really cute like rose goldy kind of colour I think she is gorgeous let me pull her out a little bit so you can, at least can see her she's like a proper like coppery pink colour literally a rose gold I love her I think she's beautiful this one as well she's so cute she's got like bright red lipstick at the moment I think that will fade um, but yeah she's real pretty she's so so pretty aren't you missus? yeah you're pretty I think this one's actually got one Dumbo ear smaller than the other I think were you the one? yeah she's a little bit odd but I think she's gorgeous. I really really like the ones that have got odd ears, I think they're so so cute um, and it's really really common in large Dumbo spawns to have some that aren't perfect um, but yeah I'm never ever going to cull any of my fish because they're not like aesthetically perfect um, yeah that's not why I started breeding, I wasn't trying to breed out aesthetically perfect fish I just love them and I wanted to raise healthy fish and kind of contribute back to the hobby that I love so so much. I love the fact that something that I've raised and brought into this world can give someone else so so much joy. So um, yeah that's kind of why I breed better fish. <laughs> this one I'm actually going to have to re-photograph <laughs> because since I've uploaded his pictures he's changed so much. He was like a ombre kind of like pink purple white now he's changed to like a really really nice like berry red kind of color and gray he looks so cool so up here we've got babies in jars up here we've got babies in jars and up here we've got babies in jars the reason why these ones are not up for sale yet is because I was wanting them to kind of grow a little bit more before I put them up for sale so some of these were not up to like the size that I wanted them to be before I sold them um, this one's actually really pretty. He's got like a copper kind of colour to him as well. Oh, I just love their little Dumbo ears. They're so, so cute. 
so so cute i love them see these ones i don't know if you guys can tell but they're still quite small and yeah i just kind of wanted them to get a little bit bigger before i sold them um there's a few reasons why firstly because i just want to keep them because they're my babies and I don't want them to go off to a new home if they're a little bit too small and delicate and also you can't really tell what colour they're going to be until they've reached um, a certain size they kind of get to a size and then you're like okay yeah I can kind of see what kind of colour you're going to be as you get older there's a cute little female you're pretty missus you look real grumpy you look real real grumpy <laughs> oh this one's got lipstick too have you got lipstick on? Have you got lipstick on? You've got a little derpy face like your father did. Yeah, you're a little derp. Derp derp. So yeah, they are the betters that are in jars. And then there's still some of the Dumbos in the grow out tank. There's a lot less than the last time I showed you. But the numbers in here are massively reducing, which I'm so, so happy about. Because once this, once this tank is clear of fish, I can start breeding again which I'm so so excited to do like I cannot wait um, so in here there are mainly females there's still a few males um, this one here he is a little male he's tiny still he's so so small compared to some of the other ones like you would not believe like you would not believe that that male is from the same spawn as this one. But yeah, there's still quite a lot of females in here. A lot of them are being very, very territorial now. Um, this one, this one, that one, um, this one. Oh, that's really pretty, that one. That one's like a silvery red kind of colour. That's gorgeous, same as that one. Oh, you guys are so pretty. You're so, so pretty. There is kind of a lot of aggression going on in here at the moment. I was just kind of wanting to keep them in here for as long as possible so I have about 60 Dumbo better fish in jars at the moment and I have to change the water in all of those jars every single day um, so it takes a lot of time as you can imagine so I was just trying to keep as many in here as possible for as long as possible really but yeah I feel like this week it's time for me to just get all of these big bullies out of this tank these two they definitely need to come out because that kind of behavior is not acceptable it's not acceptable at all guys. I really really like this steel grey kind of colour on this one. Let me see if I can get her to come over. This one here. Like she's so pretty. She's metallic and then she's got like a steel grey kind of colour to her. She's beautiful. I love her. She might even be a possible one to keep because she's gorgeous. You're gorgeous Missy. Yes you are. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. This whole tank is literally going to be emptied within the next two weeks, I'm going to say. Over those next couple weeks, um, I'm probably going to be working harder on the fish than I ever have done. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I absolutely love what I do. But it is a lot of work. It really, really is. Um, so, yeah, that's the Dumbos. And then if we go next door to them, we can see the Koi's. This week has probably been the most exciting week with the Koi's so far um, because they've started changing colour. Can you guys see this one here? It was literally red three days ago, like completely red. And now I'm pretty sure it's a female, but I'm not 100% sure yet. She's just gorgeous. Like she has gone completely cellophane and I can already see Koi spots forming on her. So I'm I'm literally obsessed with her. She has bright blue eyes and oh my god, she's just gorgeous. She's so so pretty. I love this one as well. I'm waiting for him to change because he is going to be gorgeous. There's one that was literally bright red yesterday and this morning when I was doing their water changes, he looked like a Dalmatian. Like I'm not even being funny. Where is he? Oh, down here. He's down here. Let me show you. Look how funny he looks. He is a Dalmatian. Like he looks like a Dalmatian dog. Mister, turn around. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you. Where is he? This one. He literally looks like a Dalmatian, like I'm not even being fun. he literally looks like a Dalmatian, like not a better Dalmatian, a dog Dalmatian. <laughs> He's so cute, I love him. I can't wait for this one to change colour. Sorry about the glare by the way. <laughs> this one's changing as well, that one there. You're feisty, you're real feisty. 
Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this little one. He looks so weird. I love him. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on in the breeding tank. I've put two more of my tanks up here. I am going to be showing you guys in another video what's going on in these two tanks and this one and also the trio tank but that is for another video because I want to re all of them before I completely show you guys um, but yeah that's kind of what is on the shelving unit and down here something very very exciting is happening in this tank this is a new tank this is literally just a bit of like foam that was in the box when I ordered it but I kind of just put it over the top just to try and stop dust getting into the tank because it's empty at the moment um, but yeah something very very exciting is going to be happening in this tank and it's not better related that is the only hint that you are getting um, but yeah I'm so so excited for what is going to be going into this tank and I cannot wait to show you guys that is my little better breeding room tour um, it's not completely finished um, obviously the filters are going to be changing and I am going to be getting like live plants growing all over the shelving units because I just think it will look pretty and I still need to paint that there's going to be something going in here yeah, um, I need to re the other tanks. Yeah, there's still quite a lot of things that I want to do. But um, yeah, that's just a quick little look at my fish. So thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I really, really do appreciate all of your support with this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Also follow me on Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram. Um, also, the baby betters, if you are interested in having a look or buying any of the fish that I have shown you in this video, um, there will be an eBay link in the first line of the description. And if you click on that, you can go over to my eBay shop. You will be able to see all of the fish that I have currently got listed for sale. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!